This video is going to have a look at decimal places. In a previous video we had a look at formatting cell contents for things like currency symbols and you may have noticed that it automatically applies to decimal places. If we have a look at the example columns here, column D and C, we can see that these are talking about prices so it might be that we need to apply currency symbols to all of these cells. And remember there are three easy ways, four easy ways in which we can apply this. I'm going to go with the number box in this instance and choose currency. So this gives us the currency symbol and it also makes sure that we have two decimal places. We had 27.9 here previously but because we've applied currency formatting it's given us a second decimal place. Something to be aware of is that we might not always want those two decimal places. If we know in advance, if I just undo this, if I go for the format format cells option, here again we have currency and accounting, and if I click on currency we have the option here of adding in as many decimal places as we want. If we know we need two, we can leave it at two. If we want naught, we just drag it down and click OK. And that will apply no decimal places. If we wanted two decimal places and we found out after the fact, we've got two buttons in the number group in the Home tab we've got the increase decimal and decrease decimal. So if I want to reapply two decimal places all I have to do is click increase decimal twice and that will give us our decimal points back. Do be aware if you're dealing with decimals it can round up or down a number. In this instance if I go with column D if I decrease the decimal, some of the numbers appear to have increased. For example, the price of apples has gone up to £8, and the price of bread has gone up to £2. And that's merely because the decimal point was above 0.5. If I change the price of bread to 149, as soon as I press enter on the keyboard or mouse away to confirm that cell entry that total figure has dropped down to one pound and that's again because it's not displaying decimals it's rounded down that figure. So to add decimals to a value we can use the increase or decrease decimals button we can also use the format option so format cells and then increase or decrease the decimals. Again just for a quick demo if I wanted to decrease the decimals of just this column here all I have to do is highlight the cells or the values that I want and then we could increase and decrease with those two buttons in the number group. So that's increasing and decreasing decimals in cells.